Hello guys, this time I'm going to explain about the unit weight and yield of freshly mixed concrete experiment. Purpose at the beginning, proceed to the apparatus needed, experimental procedures, result, and lastly the discussion part of this experiment. The purpose of the experiment is to determine the unit weight, yield, cement content, and air content of freshly mixed Portland cement concrete. Yield is defined as the volume of concrete produced from a mixture of known quantities of the component materials. The unit weight value is used to calculate the volume of Portland semi concrete produced from a mixture of known quantity. For today's experiment, we need some amount of cross aggregate sand and cement for the mixture. Another thing will be the scope, electric mixer, a metal container with the strike of plate, a mallet, and the internal vibrator. After all the apparatus are prepared, it's time to start our experiment. First, we need to know the volume of the container. Calculate it by dividing the mass of the water by its density. Do it by weighting the empty container and weight it again after fully fill it with water. The difference will be the mass of water. Since we require concrete for the experiment, we need to mix the concrete using the arbitrary volume method with the ratio of cement, sand and cross aggregate is 1 to 2 to 3. Mix them all in a huge surface metal container. Then throw the whole sample into the electric concrete mixer and turn the machine on. While the machine is mixing the sample, add the water into the control slowly until the concrete will desired workability and at the same time have acceptable plasticity and solidity. Place the freshly mixed concrete into the metal container in two layers of approximately equal volume. Considering the effect of vibration, for the final layer add enough concrete to replace the overflowed concrete. Vibrate each layer no more than 10 seconds using the internal vibrator. Tap the sides of the major smartly 10 to 15 times with the mallet to release trapped air bubbles. When the consolidation is complete, the metal container must not contain any substantial excess or deficiency of concrete. A small quantity of concrete may be added to correct a deficiency. Fly off the top surface of the concrete after the consolidation by placing the side of plate on the metal container approximately two-thirds of the opening. Use the side of plate to level the surface and use a sawing motion. Incline the plate and make several sweeps with the edge of the plate to produce a smooth surface. Completely clean all the excess concrete from the rim and exterior of the container and place the container on the weight to get the net weight of the concrete. Let's take a look at the result of our experiment. The weight of each components are written on the table shown. By using all these formulas, we could get the result we wanted. Last but not least, the discussion part of this experiment. At the beginning of the experiment, we forgot to measure the weight of cement in the batch, NT. Therefore, we couldn't find the actual cement content in the following step. After discussion with teaching assistant, we decided to assume the weight of cement we had used was same as the weight of cement that will be used in the next coming experiment. To reduce the potential error, we will use the same proportion of cement to make the same volume of concrete and also the same rigid metal container in the next experiment. According to the experiment, relative yield of concrete we obtained was 1.1. The value for relative yield greater than 1.0 indicates an excess of concrete being produced. Looking at the result, air content in concrete obtained was 12.9%. This indicates that 12.9% of concrete was void and may be due to insufficient of vibration causing too much of air bubbles trapped in the concrete. After striking off the surface, we failed to completely clean all the excess concrete from the rim and exterior of the metal container. Therefore, the calculation of net concrete weight may have error. Thus, the following calculation and result were affected. After consolidation, we had to strike off the top surface of the concrete using a strike off plate. Due to lack of experience, we might not be able to make the surface of the concrete smooth perfectly. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching.